my book, Journey to Constellation Station with art by Jamin Hoyle. But first, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I came up with the idea for my book, um, how you can use it in classrooms and as a parent and caregiver, and I, then I will get into reading it, the book to you. So first, how did I come up with a story? Well, I have two sons. One is Declan and one is Archer, and when they were four years old and two years old, they love trains and outer space, and actually they still love that. Um, they're really obsessed with it. So one day I was playing with them and I realized Constellation train station. So that really is what, how I came up with the idea. So I sat down and I actually still have my rough draft that I wrote out. So I have it here to show you. It's pretty messy. When I go into different classrooms and schools, I show them that it wasn't something that I wrote out and then automatically it became this book. It took about two years for the whole process to take place. So um, teachers really love when I share this because it shows that there's little scribbles on my draft. This went through many, many, many edits. Um, so it just shows you that, you know, the writing process and the editing process are super important. Um, constructive criticism is super important and to take everything and use it to make your work better. So another reason that um, I'm excited to share with you Journey the Constellation Station is that it really incorporates STEM and STEAM ideas. So one thing I've seen a lot of is teachers use it to start their lesson plans on the solar system. So they'll read the book and then incorporate what their lesson plan is. Um, another thing is engineering and imagination. What sort of station could you or your classmates come up with? How would you get there? What would it contain? What could you see from it? So that's been really exciting to see all of those ideas. And then regarding art, something that I really love to do when I go into classrooms is bring supplies and the kids draw their own constellation. So this is just dark paper, chalk, and star stickers. It really can be any stickers. The kids draw what they want and um, add the star stickers on and they make their own constellation. So this has been really cool to see all of these. Someone, um, a little girl named Catherine gave this to me so I thought I'd use it as an example. So um, excitingly enough, Journey to Constellation Station is coming out again, being published by City Different Books, and I have added some additional content into it. So now it has a glossary, it has uh, fun facts, it has a lot of things about the constellations and the stories and the mythology behind the constellations. Um, it has a note to parents and caregivers, it has some of the craft ideas, so it's gonna have a lot of great new content. Um, so it makes a great gift, it's great for yourself, for your kids, obviously, and um, I really hope you enjoy it. So now we are going to read, I'm going to read Journey to Constellation Station, again by Lindsay C. Berry, art by Jamin Hoyle, and brought to you by City Different Books. Do you have your ticket? All you do is close your eyes. The rails are ready to take you on a starry night surprise. Climb up on the train, bring your stellar imagination. All aboard, it's time to depart for Constellation Station. Constellation Station is in our galaxy, the Milky Way. While the journey there is lightning fast, all you'll feel is a gentle sway of train cars with windows wide open to the starry night. Look out and see man-made space art, a twirling satellite. Chugging past the moon, reflecting the sun's brilliant glow, stars pulse and shine and blink all above, around, and below. The train is silent like outer space, but the engine is full power. Cars dip and glide and curve through a swirling meteor shower. Puff through a black hole tunnel, speed along the terrestrial track. Come out and view the colors of space, brilliant against the black. There it is, the platform swirls in starry bright rotation. Punch your ticket and disembark, you've reached Constellation Station. Not many have come before you, it's a special part of space. And if you look for it on a map, it will vanish without a trace. In the station's silent center is a telescope of stars. Each point shows a constellation, no matter how faint or far. Leo the lion roars into view, his mane his crowning jewel. Pick another point and focus your eye on Taurus the charging bull. Scorpius the scorpion strikes and stings, his tail towering high. 
Now see graceful Cygnus the swan wings stretched across the sky. The great dog howls across the black, signaling his slumber. While the great bear shakes the stars awake with his heavy footed lumber. Another star points to Gemini, twin brothers shining double. Pisces the fish shows a night swimming pair, each breath a glowing bubble. The winged horse Pegasus sparkles midair, rearing up for flight. Orion the hunter poses with sword, shield raised, ready to fight. Libra the scales keep sky in balance, weighing celestial laws. Cancer the crab sidesteps the stars, grasping with his claws. Now it's time to journey home, the cars are gliding past. Board the train for the last view of the galaxy so vast. Visit nightly to view the stars at their highest elevation. Just close your eyes and come back again to Constellation Station. The end. So I hope you've enjoyed the journey and thank you for coming along with it with me. And you can follow me and my journey on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Lberry Books. Also, again, just to remind you that this was Journey to Constellation Station by Lindsay C. Berry, art by Jamin Hoyle, brought to you by City Different Books. Thanks so much for tuning in.